Hello everyone, welcome to Intro Day 2. My name is Fiona and I'm the host of the American Cross Podcast, where I talk about things going on in our country from a conservative and biblical viewpoint. As a Christian, I believe it's very important to look at everything around us and say, what does the Bible say about this? What does God say about this situation? And what am I to do just to put us on track so that we make sure that we're doing the right thing as best as we can? And you know, nowadays, especially when you go to like church or maybe you're at a family get together, people don't want to mix Christianity and politics, right? They say, okay, we're at, we're at church. We don't need to, you know, talk about politics. We don't, we don't bring up homosexuality. We don't bring up which president we thought is better. We don't bring that up because people could disagree and we could make people mad, whatever. You know what? I think it's very important that we do mix Christianity and politics in a way. And now it's not even like you're purposely trying to do that. It's kind of happening because just like the Bible says, what the left is doing is everything that is evil, they're calling good. And everything that is good, they're calling evil. So immediately we go to the Bible and say, okay, that's that's not what the Bible says. And, you know, after realizing that you have to take the next step to address the problem, right? And my pastor was telling me last week in a sermon that as Christians, as anyone, we are not to just point out what's wrong. We're not supposed to just tell people what they're doing wrong and that they're sinful. We're all sinful and we all sin. What we are to do is kindly point it out, say we understand, and then go, look, this is what the Bible says. We're supposed to point them to the truth and help them grow in it. And this goes for politics too. If there's someone you disagree on with, point them in the truth in a kind way and help them understand. Don't just argue about it because you're not going to get anywhere with that. And the Bible also calls us to pray for those who persecute us and to love our enemies. That's really tricky. That is really tricky, especially in the world we live in today, right? The media is telling people, or maybe people are telling each other, that if someone disagrees with you on your sexuality, on what lives are more important on whatever that you don't need them in your life you don't need to be friends with them whatever this leads me to my two goals for my podcast i i want to create a community of people who might disagree with each other on certain things who might strictly be against something that someone else is against but realize that we are not judging each other by our opinions and by our beliefs we are looking at the content of someone's character right You know, I've lost a lot of friends recently who were great people, but they found out that I support something that they don't, or they find out that I don't support something they do. And so then they drop me and I go, you know what? We've always had great conversations. We've always been great friends. We've always been able to look past political beliefs and opinions, but you're dropping me because we disagree. Well, I want to create a community that goes, we can disagree and still be friends because you're a great person. And I want people who come to my podcast and hear the people I feature to go, this is great. And to be able to have a fun time, maybe learn something new. I just, I want to know people who I disagree with. I think that's very good for everyone's character because you can learn new things. You can have conversations and questions. And that's something that's very good always to ask questions. Why do I believe what I believe? Do I have a reasoning behind it? Does it make sense, right? So that's my first goal. And my second goal, of course, is to make sure everything comes from the Bible, to make sure everything we talk about, we know what the Bible says about it and that we're applying that to our lives as best as we can. As you all probably know, Trump went down to the southern border, I think last week, and Fox News did an interview with him, which was great and hilarious. I love him. But one thing that he said that I really love, he said, always keep fighting. That is so important. Because nowadays, everyone, especially conservatives, are being shut down. People don't want to hear your voice. Adults don't want to hear your opinion because you're a kid. You know, we're all being shut down. But what we have to do is keep fighting for what's right. Keep fighting for the Bible and keep fighting for truth in the world, right? And just always keep fighting. It's as simple as that. It's a hard thing to do, but it's possible, right? How do we get where we are? We fought for it, right? So don't forget to always fight. And... Another thing, (laughs) last year, you know, when all the COVID stuff was going on, when there were lockdowns, all of that, my family would sit at the dinner table and try and talk about this. And we'd try and make sense of it. We'd be like, 
they're they're hypocrites they're they're they say one thing and then they say something else they say this works and then they say it doesn't the next week and then we got to this one point where we were like you know what you know what this is what i started saying you can't make sense of stupidity you can't the people who say those things in the first place aren't even using their brain so why should you be expected to use yours to make sense of it right so don't waste your time trying to make sense of stupid things <laughs> anyways that's all i have to say i hope I hope you enjoyed this. Tomorrow, I believe Noah Witherspoon is doing his introduction next. He's the vice president. He's hilarious. He has his own podcast. He's very intelligent. And you'll really enjoy meeting him. All right, that's all. Bye.